throughout the season of Advent, after the Blessed Virgin Mary, St. John the Baptist is our example of how to prepare for the coming of the Lord. Although it is Christmas and it is time for Christmas parties, I need to remind you that John the Baptist died by beheading. It runs in my mind, ano kaya ang naisip niya bago siya namatay? Naghirap ako, nakakulong ako ngayon. He was actually buried in the underground jail of the palace of Herod. Underground. That means above him was the floor and above him was the dance floor of Herod. And above him was merrymaking like our Christmas parties. Above him were dancing and laughing and clinking of glasses because it was a happy occasion for Herod and there was a beautiful woman dancing. And then beyond the merrymaking, he heard from the top of his dungeon a voice on top of the floor behead him. My dear brothers and sisters, how do you think John the Baptist felt? Did he feel frustrated? Did he feel defeated? Did he feel abandoned? I don't know how he felt. I am not able to talk to him. But if I put my hand, if I put my heart, if I put my mind into the heart and mind and personality of John the Baptist, I will say he was sad because he was only half a man. He was only half a prophet. Anong ibig kong sabihin? He could condemn, but he could not forgive sins. He could baptize with water, but he cannot make people children of God. He could criticize, but he could not give mercy and forgiveness. He could denounce, but he could not enthrone another king. In other words, he could be strong voice in criticism, strong voice in denunciation, strong voice in the prophetic ministry of calling sin, sin. But when he wanted to do something more, when he wanted to forgive, he could not forgive. When he wanted to enthrone another king, he could not enthrone. He was powerless. He was only half a prophet. And he knew that he was preparing the place for the fullness of prophecy, for the fullness of manhood, for the fullness of Godship. And here is Jesus Christ coming. Anong gagawin ni Jesus? He will criticize, but He will also heal. He will condemn, and He will enthrone another king. He will call sin, sin, but He will also offer forgiveness. He will denounce, but He will also be able to reconcile. The one replacing John, the one proclaimed by John, is the fullness of prophecy, is the fullness of manhood, is the fullness of divinity. And that is Jesus Christ. What is the consequence of that for us, my dear brothers and sisters? All of us, like John, ang tawag sa atin, tinimbang ka, Ngunit kulang. Everything that we do will always fall short because we need the other half. We say, Nasa Dios ang awa, 
nasa tao ang gawa. God helps those who help themselves. Even if people help themselves to the full, if God does not help, everything will fail. We can buy a Christmas tree, but only God can make a tree. You can buy a soft bed, but only God can give you sleep. You can pay all the hospitals, but only God can give you health. You can buy all the food, but only God can give you appetite. You can extend all your life, but only God can give you life everlasting. What it means is this, my dear brothers and sisters, human effort, human work, character, willpower, these are good, but they are not enough. If you hear those words, kami tao lamang. If you hear those words, tinimbang ka ngunit kulang. You can also say to the Lord, Lord, fill up what is lacking in me. Lord, fill up my willpower by your grace. Lord, fill up my desire to change by your mercy. Lord, fill up my criticism by your grace. Because no criticism, no denunciation, can change hearts. Only God can. Anong consequence ito para sa ating pamilya? Mga minamahal kong mga magulang, pwede yung sermon na ng sermon na ng nagkakamaling anak. Pero kapag hindi nyo pinagdasal yung anak, hindi pa rin siya magbabago. Sapagat ang nagpapabago ay hindi sermon ng magulang kundi grasya ng Diyos. Maaari mong ichismis ng ichismis ang iyong kapwa-tao dahil gusto mo siyang magbago. Pero kung hindi mo siya ipagdadasal, hindi siya magbabago. Maaari mag-review ka ng mag-review para sa board exam, pero kung hindi ka tutulungan ng Diyos, hindi mo yun makukuha. Maari magdasal ka na magdasal para sa magandang pamilya. Trabaho ka ng trabaho para magkaroon ka ng pera. Pero kung hindi ka magdadasal, may pagkain ng sikmura, subalit gutom ang kaluluwa. We need the Lord. Because we are all short. We are all underweight. We are all unworthy. We are all undeserving because all human effort will come to nothing unless the Lord build us. John the Baptist was half a prophet. There are many things he could do, but there are more things he could not do. There are many things we can buy. There are many things we can achieve, but only the grace of God can make all our dreams come true. You can give all the criticism, you can give all the correction, but only the grace of God can change and convert hearts. In a few days, it will be Christmas. Let us remind ourselves, I need the Lord. 